His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace today in the presence of the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force. His Highness Major Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, a number of officers and affiliates upon their return from their mission in Yemen. His Majesty granted medals of appreciation to a number of the officers and soldiers for performing their noble duties within the BDF forces' participation along the Saudi led Arab coalition in Operation Restoring Hope. He commended their tremendous efforts in humanitarian aid operations for the best interest of Yemen and its people. His Majesty the King expressed pride in all the BDF's men and wished them and all BDF affiliates continued success.
His Rohan is the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Libya Palace today a number of brotherly and friendly countries' ambassadors to Bahrain, media personnel, senior officials, and scores of citizens. The Prime Minister asserted regional developments must be faced with a regional and international determination to enhance coordination at all levels so as to deal with the threats targeting security, stability, and development process. He confirmed all GCC and Arab countries are peace loving and are looking to all countries to preserve mutual interest and stability. His Rohan is affirmed that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's role in maintaining security and stability and defending Arab issues under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, highlighting its political and economic power in a way that is able to protect all Arabs. The Prime Minister urged documenting all phases of the national march and the challenges that have faced Bahrain in order for the next generations to be aware of Bahrain's process. He expressed pleasure in meeting with the citizens who look to the government to further enhance its housing, health and educational services and stressed that the government is working on its programs and projects in parallel with people's demands to achieve their aspirations. He called on reinforcing the values of communication among the people in order to strengthen national unity towards further progress and prosperity. The Prime Minister commended the role of journalists in helping the government to ensure providing and improving its services to the people through shedding light on citizens' needs and noted the press's objective analysis of international developments, which reflects Bahraini journalists' growth and maturity. For their part, the audience stressed that Bahrain has become a favorite destination for living and investing thanks to the government's plans and projects led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. They appreciated His Royal Highness's care to the development process so as to meet the demands of the people.
The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the achievement of the kingdom in the Ironman Europe Triathlon Championship that was held in Germany. He stressed the achievement was a result of continuous support of His Majesty the King to the youth and sports movement in the kingdom and stressed that His Majesty's support motivates all participants to score further achievements and enhance Bahrain's position globally in all fields. His Highness said that this achievement provides inspiration to make more accomplishments in different fields of sports, expressing pride in the team members for making this achievement for the first time on the European level. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed the results achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain's jockeys in their overseas outings, stating that they are a source of honor for Bahrain. He said that these results reflect the capabilities of Bahraini athletes and their high spirits, and the results achieved in Britain and Slovakia affirm the extraordinary level of the Bahraini equestrians and the great experience of the jockeys developed thanks to the consistent policy of progress adopted under the wise leadership of the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Honor Sheikh Nasser's remarks followed Bahraini jockeys Fahad Hilal and Abdurrahman Zayed achievements in the Samoran horse race Slovakia, while their compatriot Yaqub Al Hamadi finished fourth in another race. Al Khatri raced to victory in the 120-kilometer 100, race, while Al Zayed came first in the 160-kilometer competition. His Honor Sheikh Nasser expressed happiness for their accomplishments, stating that the jockeys are capable of proving themselves on the global scene. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated Bahraini runner Yunis Kerwa, who won the silver medal in the Women's Rio 2016 Olympic Marathon. It is the first medal for Bahrain in the Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Earlier, His Highness Sheikh Khalid telephoned Bahraini runner Ali Khamis, who was qualified for the final of the 400 meters. His Highness Sheikh Khalid underlined the efforts of the runner and his outstanding performance in Rio 2016, wishing him luck and success. His Highness also noted Bahrain's leadership and people's total support to him.